Hi, I'm Mr. Blackassam and welcome to another episode of Catherine Playthrough. Let's enjoy! Don't you show me that saving icon even though you don't save? Mm. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, ants everywhere. They are eating him alive. The fuck are you doing here? Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, it's so ugly. Is she going to jump out? Yeet. Whoa, but they are still going. What are doing here anyway? I mean, they. They, they look the so. What, what are they doing here? Stupid ants. They're after this. What is it? Cake? Well, who did you get this from? I bought it myself. So damn quick. That's the cake Catherine brought me a while ago. Oh, I've got a, a real sweet tooth. Is all. <laughs> yeah, I just bought it. Wait, really? So do I. So, uh, when did you get here? <laughs> what? Like you forgot? You said that you were feeling better, so I hurried right over. Huh? When did I tell you that? I guess my memory's a little fuzzy. Aww, you always say that. <laughs> you always- we know each other for three days! Five, maybe? Just, Four? You are just fine, baby. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. Uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> don't have time today. No! <laughs> What, what is it this time? It's... it's that horror movie I told you about. This is the last week they're gonna be showing it in theaters, uh, remember? What? What What movie? did you tell me? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss it. Yeah, okay, okay. Can we wait till tomorrow? I've kinda got some stuff to take care of today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right! <laughs> hey, this will be our first real date! It'll be so much fun, don't you think? I am totally lost here. Ugh. Ugh. That's your type? Really, brother? Come on. That's low. That's low. I don't know. I I don't I don't like like she's a childish bimbo, I would call her. Simply. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Don't you have anything to tell me? Vincent, what in the world are you talking about? All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. W wait, Listen what's going me. on? Ooh, putting the foot down. Finally playing like an alpha. I, uh, I heard something the other day. What did you hear? Something from an acquaintance of yours. What? Who? Uh, well... Do you know a guy named Steve? Steve? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know anyone named Steve. Exactly. Wait, what? You don't? don't? No. No? Not even one? Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well, how could you not? I mean, Steve's a pretty common name. <laughs> what to save? What a save inside the conversation. Oh? Maybe you know someone. Wait. I did meet a Steve yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. Uh, I think. Son? How old is he? Um, two months. Two months maybe? She just come back from the hospital. That has to be him. No, not him. Don't you know any other Steves? Huh? Well... I'm sure I do if I check. You, you mean you have to check and see if you know anybody named Steve? I guess so. Look, what is this all about? <laughs> well. Speak up and tell me. Who's Steve? Some friend of yours? What are you getting at? Ooh, such a cute coffee. You don't coffee, know him, sorry. Let's just drop it. Are you sure you don't know him, know Steve? 
No, Steve. Why do you keep asking me that? I told you I don't know. Oh, he's so. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong girl again. Steve from Minecraft, exactly this guy. Do you know Steve? Yes, I do. He mines all day, he mines all night. Maybe I should just tell her. No, then she'll think I'm taking some random guy's word over hers. Shit. Can I say Come on, Vincent, don't be a bitch. Uh, well, it's a good thing. And you are a bitch. Well done. There's this asshole at my work who said. He might know you. So, uh. Huh? Are you okay? You've been acting weird lately. Pale. You say things that don't make any sense. True. Yeah, well, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense lately. <laughs> like the future and everything. I don't get it. And why do you meet up in this what do you pink mean? hell? You don't get it. Uh, well. What part of our future don't you get? That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm I'm worried about Ooh, work. It's a new bad job sentence. Going. Having problems with a client, so I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh, you fucked up, brother. Fucked up. I've been getting strange texts lately. Oh. Strange how? So I she. Don't know. They don't make sense. She also has so some creepy. <laughs> Wait, what do they say? What are the words? You know what? It's not important. Just forget it. Okay. They know each other for so long yet Look, he Vincent, they don't talk at all. You're not hiding anything from me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Vincent. Just tell her the truth, not reassure her. Well, you've got to go back to work, right? I do too. Um, I should go. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll call you. Shit. We go to the bar now. Not really. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I asked around, and nobody knows who you are. You... you told her? Well, yeah, of course I did. And that's the quickest way to split up, right? Y yeah. B but what do you mean, nobody knows me? Nobody well, knows that's me. that's exactly why I called. Look, wh why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like, what does she look like? Okay, that, that's actually a good point. Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. What? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. Well, don't you try to fool me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Uh, <laughs> it can't be. I, I mean, she told me... She's white. Herself. It's a different person. I don't blame you for all this, but please, just... Leave me alone. What's going on? I, but, uh, Where's my Catherine? Catherine? How should I know? But she, she's all I have now. <laughs> I'm already divorcing my wife. I don't care. She came into my life suddenly, and then I just. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's gonna come for me. And I... Look, I'm the one going crazy here. <laughs> I won't call you again. So leave me alone, okay? Wait, wait, no, don't hang up. I still have. Damn it. What the hell was his problem? <laughs> but we are unfolding some real deep truth here. Come on, let me save. That's all I want. Catherine, he was talking about was someone else entirely. Jeez, seriously? I, 
How lucky for you this was just some dumbass's mistake. The world's full of troublemakers. But it, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. No. No, I mean, there's no way. He has to be mistaken. Uh, you guys better be careful, too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Tell us more about the room or yellow kiss. I mean, uh, her recap. So they were curves. Uh, just get your ass back to work. Vincent isn't cheating anymore. There's nothing to worry about. The curse, huh? No. What do you mean, isn't cheating anymore? Of course he is. Choice but to accept it. Well, look, when you feel guilty, sometimes you want to be punished. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orlando is a smart guy. It's not rational. Grow up, man. Besides, there are plenty of other ways to die in your sleep. Plus, plus. Well, you know. Yeah. Sort of yeah, I know you have some weird dreams. I spotted you, bitch. I've been having odd dreams recently. Myself. He too. And like you were saying, I don't remember exactly. I didn't. I don't think I've seen him. Was he the one smoking? It's some hard shit. Hey. Yeah, I think he's the, the smoking go on. Yeah, but are you sure it's fine? Of course it's fine. Wait a sec. Come to think of it, he said something. I, I'm going crazy. It's gonna come for me, and I. What's going to come for him? Am I missing something important here? Yes, you anyway, are. This is about you, Vincent. Come on, game. Let me save and let me finish. That's enough. That's seven hours. My nightmares were all caused by this trouble, but they forced me to realize something. Which is? I took everything for granted up until now. I feel like now I remember what I've always held dearest to me. Sounds selfish to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. I know, but I can't betray the person who's been with me all this time, despite who I am. Yeah, 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 Eisen. I'd like to see her too. I can't lose her now. It would be a different yeah, dream, though. That's the spirit, Chief. Then maybe you shouldn't be here drinking right now. Well, yeah. Mm. I've got something left to do. I need to change my focus. I see. Hey, fear me. Sure. Let me get that for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. Your treat. Yeah. <laughs> Your treat. <laughs> Okay, what do we what do we have? Let's pick with Orlando because he's a he's a child. She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. Guess you are. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent. You go. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna propose to. I'm sure it'll all work out. No, he's going to propose to. Way to go, Vincent. A rough nightmare. You all look like you're in really bad. Nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. <laughs> you tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are. Uh. Anyway, let's let's have a let's drink. have a drink. Oh wait, that's an idea. I can drink to that. Look, Vincent. Like I was the only one hiding something. That drink more? <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. And let's drink more. I know this is sudden, but here's a trivia for you. Cocktail trivia? <laughs> Out of nowhere? How dare you? One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create. Is the Pousse Cafe. Pousse Cafe? Wonder why. Normally cocktails are stirred thoroughly, but this is a cocktail you can Okay, mix. not mixed cocktail. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored. Ah, oh, come on, it's not that hard. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it's Yeah, stays yeah, yeah, that, that that's the problem with uh, layered cocktails. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Pousse Cafe's appeal. Church bills. Who's close to the top? That was the cocktail trip. 
Thank you, Bart Man, for cocktail three. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually drinking rum and cola. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Didn't think this true. But you know, the uh, I'm way more immersed now. <laughs> yeah. It looks like I'm dirty here on the camera, but I'm not. What's that? It looks like I have eyeshadow on my eyebrow. Fuck, <laughs> looks so weird. Well, let's speak with Erica. Erica is a bitch who needs me. All this nightmare talk really worries me. Don't believe it. Dreams are just weird, exactly. Have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. He was a good man. This stuff keeps happening. Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. Okay, fuck you, Rika. <gasps> He's not here. He's... Get uh, Get the fuck out. Uh, can I maybe speak with boss? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I so had a what cheating after that. How did things go? Like shit. Like shit. It doesn't matter anymore. I've decided. I'm gonna break up with that girl. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side. I plan on telling Good choice. One day. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me for it, though. Well, it seems you have come to a conclusion. I hope it leads you to a good ending. Oh, message? Yeah, let's speak with Justin. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She, he's, she's, she's a cool guy. She's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Is there a reason? Huh? Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't. Ah, uh, I don't think I agree. It's a tough topic. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Yeah, more or less. Ooh. You got me. What's going on? Vincent, have you gotten involved in something bad? If that's the case, tell me. Tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems now. Yeah. And I don't get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send this message. Booyah! Good boy points. Good boy points. Good boy, good boy, good boy points. Alright, let's speak with Justin more. Because he's a cool guy. Two people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult. And very frightening. Cheers. Oh, a new message? You got me. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you know me. It's all good for you. Happy, happy noises. Happy now? You filthy, filthy, filthy pigs. I would like to speak to your saggy tits. You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? I hate politics or I hate economics. I hate politics. Hey, good boy points. What was happening in the previous episode? It is a holy passage to the cathedral. Overall, we learned that Catherine, the K Catherine, is pregnant and she's worrying about us. And C Catherine is going on a date with us tomorrow. And tomorrow we hope to break up with the C Catherine and propose to the K Catherine. The to the starts here. So now we are more or less at the moment when we kind of decide the ending right now like this is where the ending starts okay this will be the toughest part so far no, <laughs> so far the toughest oh can't wait four levels i think 
Uh, okay, let's speak with the this thing. Look at the horn on him. Damn. I can't believe that you got to this level. Never. Hurry up. Yeah, you're right. This is eleventh question. Yeah. yeah. You have to choose between your best friend and your lover. My best friend or my lover? Which would I choose? It's it's the same thing. Oh come on. It's the same. <laughs> Juke the bitch. Jesus Christ. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. I made it! <sighs> Big. Brain, big brain, big brain, bigger than you, bigger than dick, bigger than brain, bigger than me, brain, 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 brain. Oh, I hate this game. Come on, Vincent, you're doing great. Yeah, the twelfth question. Would you want to be a human? <laughs> of course, I love being human. Hmm, I see. So that. Right, Why wouldn't I? I? Being a human is amazing. I can play games. I can stream playing games. I can make videos. I can eat whatever I want and not die. Speaking of food, of course. More than that. Let's hurry then. There's still there are still more levels on this floor. Fuck you, mysterious boys. Fuck you. Eat a mega ultimate dick. This is the thirteenth question. question. If you were to propose to your lover, how would, you how would I? I I already proposed. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. It has to be special. Which one? Uh, it was kind of special, I would say. It's like, yeah, I think I made it special. Yeah, I deserve to call that special, you know. Oh, it has to be special. It wins. Quite obvious. You know, all the beta boys thinking they're special when they're not. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry. It was like a self joke. Save self loathing joke. Ten story wall. Ten story wall? Ten story wall? Fuck you. That's not real. And it even starts pretty fucked up. -ish. Oh, it's so close! <laughs> Continue like this. Most likely not. Okay, what will happen if I pull on this? This goes there. I am on some uh, uh, fucking boosters. This is the 14th, 14th question. Are you able to 
physically punish someone if you believed it was the right thing to do? Would I ever hurt someone if I think they... If I could do that easily? Which one? Yes. I know it's not the good boy strat, but yes, absolutely. If someone is acting aggressive, you and you you can just not there. respond. Like you need to protect people. Aggression and physical force is bad choice, but sometimes it's necessary. Okay, new block, new block time. Who's there? Someone I know too well. Shadow of Vincent. Pretty see shit. Yes. <laughs> Just give me a save this time. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, Where's Catherine? Steve! Cheers to Steve! If you don't remember, Steve, Steve is the one who called us that he's uh, Catherine boy, Catherine's boyfriend. No, it's not really the ending. It's not the, the true ending, at least. It's more or less close to ending. Yeah. Now we start to understand the story. Yeah. Catherine with C brought the curse upon us. She's the 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 center, the dispenser of curse. Hey, come on! Nice. She's a witch. Not really. She's not really a witch. But pretty close. <sighs> Please don't make me replay this. This was so fucking bad. We finished night 7. No! No! <laughs> Why you do this? Okay, what's the 14th question? Is it acceptable to marry someone based only on the wealth uh, or power? No, it's not. At least I got more uh, good boy points this time. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you did, then why not give it a like, maybe a comment and consider subscribing. Bye bye, take care.